It was October, year 2022, when I first started getting bronchitis. It cleared up in January, but it came back, or something came back in February. And so now I'm back to taking NyQuil and DayQuil, and I have Tiger Balm. I put Tiger Balm on my chest. I put Tiger Balm on my ribs. I dyed my hair back to dark. And I realized I need to stop bleaching and dyeing and bleaching and dyeing my hair. I've done it so much and had some haircuts that it's hard for my hair to grow. And it's getting, you know, like I want like longer hair. So if I keep doing that, it's like I'm not going to be able to really have it grow more. I like how dark hair sort of can like shine. I mean, it kind of... um, I don't know, some people say it suits me better. Some people like the blonde hair, but the blonde hair is like hard to manage. And when I use green shampoo, my hair turned green. Um, I might go out today to like a church. I made another video, but I didn't like it because I felt like at a certain angle, my face looked kind of chubby, my uh, friend. Um, Okay, my ex-boyfriend. Uh, sometimes I start to flip out and say that my face is like too big and then I feel like I've got a chubby face and he's like, Lindsay, you've got the high cheekbones, you know, because I feel like it doesn't take like a whole lot of like chub on my face to make my face kind of like wide and uh, maybe like genetic or something because like I'm at like a normal weight. I'm at like 134 to 137. When they weighed me last time though, I was fasting. And you know when you're fasting, you can lose like 10 pounds because sometimes there's like water weight on you. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you knew this, but if you have like kidney problems, you can actually put on water weight. Um, I don't know. I thought about seeing an endocrinologist because one of my friends accidentally fell on me when I was helping her put curtains up and I'm afraid it could have hurt my like adrenal gland on my right side, but I haven't had the energy to like go there so I'm just seeing like a pain doctor and two nurse practitioners yeah I like making these videos because it kind of feels like free therapy because but it's kind of weird because I'm just like saying whatever I say that comes to my head I really don't plan these that much I mean like kind of and I was just talking about in my other video about Davey Havoc he is so cool he's so awesome he has such a beautiful voice he's the lead singer of AFI and I listen to them sometimes, and I took my um, Hydra stereo system. It's like this little little rectangle, and it changes colors. And since I've had all this phlegm in my nose, I took the stereo, listened to AFI, and I put it right on my nose, right there. And I think I had it almost on a full blast, and I think the vibrations may have helped break up my nose phlegm. And also, I felt like it was helping me get through these breakups, I guess. Um, I used to have this internet boyfriend, but I don't think anything's going to come from it because it's, um, well, you know, it's the internet. So, like, I don't know. Some people can make that work. Me, uh, I don't know. It may be better to find somebody that I actually can physically see and that I can hang out with. Um, yeah, I took some Dayquil, some Sepicles. And I was listening to Leon Lush. Okay, he's not totally appropriate, but he is super entertaining. I like his content. I just watched like three of his videos. And now, um, once I take my second dose of DayQuil, I'm gonna go to this church, check out their worship time, and hopefully, hopefully from there, um, maybe I could pray for healing or something. I don't know, church is weird. Like. Like, I don't know if I'm contagious. I feel kind of okay, but part of me, like, wonders, like, what if it's my environment? Because I've got, like, a little bit of mold in my bathroom. I'm not even joking. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit, like, on the sides, on the crack of the bathtub, and on the inside of the the nozzles of my sink. And I've been planning to unscrew it and fix it, but I'm scared of bleach right now. So I may need to go to the office to either do a maintenance order or I just kind of want to do it myself because like out of the weird, like if I am contagious, it would be more responsible for me to try to fix it myself so I don't expose the maintenance men to me. But at the same time, if they do it and they unscrew it and let me clean it, then I'm not responsible for damages to the sink if the screws are so eroded away that it needs new screws, which it may. Which still leads me to, I still need to like log in for my, for my um, apartment, my apartment account, they updated it. Anyways, I'm just 
making this video so my whole 10 subscribers know that I'm not dead. I mean, I'm probably going to live for like the next 50 years. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe 60 or 70 if I'm lucky. I don't know, I'm going to try to keep going. I guess, uh, I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes you're trying to figure out like, do I rest and recover? Or do I stand and <laughs> conquer? <laughs> I don't I don't mean like conquer, conquer. I mean like, you know, like walking, exercising, just doing stuff. And I think I am going to walk over there. So I'm going to be walking like a mile today, which, you know, that's pretty good exercise. <sighs> I peace out.